bitch better have my money. Pussy's not all I want unless that's all you've got. I'm better than you. You're the fucky. The value of pussy is like cars. It ain't like houses. And to my personal favourite from the man, I only fuck so I have a memory to jerk off to later. <laughs> oh dear. Of course, I'm talking about the legendary comedian that passed a while back, Patrice O'Neill. Whether you know him from the Dave Chappelle show, The Elephant in the Room, his appearances on Opie and Anthony, The Black Phillips show that happened because of Opie and Anthony, or Charlie Sheen's roast, you've probably heard of him, and the effects that he had on comedy. Well, for many, many years now, people have been expecting a documentary for the legend to come out and tell everyone his story, seems he wasn't as known as he should have been. However, some controversy has been happening behind the scenes. One being that a couple of interviews about Patrice O'Neill's legacy was taken off by Comedy Central. And also the stuff involving Von De Carlo, his fiance. And I won't get into that because I'll be here for at least a couple of hours ranting about this goofy bitch, as many would call her, as Patrice O'Neill used to call her. And I don't want to imply that I dislike Von. I'm sure she's a nice person. I'm sure she tried her best. She just did it the wrong way. But if you want someone to break down what actually happened, I'll link a video made by Beige Frequency. He has a very in-depth look at what actually happened going into the crowdfunder that happened or Kickstarter. And he breaks down what Von De Carlo actually did to waste all of that money raised by all of those people. <laughs> it's a good laugh, safe to say. You will learn a lot about her and her, well, her mindset. <laughs> But anyway, last night I was on my way back from the shops. I was giving myself a nice chilled cider to have with some Harry Bows for later. And then I open up Instagram, respond to a message, and then I go back and I see this documentary update slash announcement link in the bio. Now, at first I was like, what did Von Carlo actually manage to scrounge something together? But then after Googling Patrice O'Neill, the first thing that came up was this article. And I'll read through that with you right now. I'll leave it in the description for you if you want to read it yourself. But wouldn't you want to hear someone's commentary on this scenario? I'm sure you would. That's why you're here. Now, Comedy Central is teaming with All Things Comedy to produce a documentary about the late, great, very fitting, Patrice O'Neill. The docu... Well, okay, I've never seen someone spell it like that. The documentary will begin an in-depth portrait of the comedian and is set to begin filming this fall. Michael Bond, that is a name in a half. Bonfiglio? Bonfiglio? <sighs> Gary Coleman, I remember hearing about that. So he's the director from that. We'll direct and executive produce alongside Bill Burr. Interesting. Al Matt, I don't know, I'm skipping the names of all things comedy, as well as O'Neill's fiance Von De Carlo. Very interesting. Christian McLovin and Harris and Gabriella Yak will oversee production for Comedy Central. Now, a couple things to quickly break down here. Aha. Uh -huh. For those of you who don't know, Bill Burr and Patrice O'Neill were actually very good friends. Bill Burr actually used to roll with Patrice O'Neill every now and then in the comedy scene in the East Coast. And it is fitting that All Things Comedy is in this as well because Bill Burr is one of the co-founders of that particular company. Now, I think it's very good that Bill Burr is getting involved in this documentary, especially after a special day he recently did Paper Tiger. But what I also find very interesting is that Von De Carlo is getting involved as well. Now again, watch Beige Frequencies video. It will shed some context. But I believe Comedy Central's involvement in this means that Von De Carlo did indeed spend a lot of the money that was raised. And Comedy Central is having to bankroll a lot of it. With luck, Bill Burr's influence will keep their creative decisions at bay and allow for more righteous information to be distributed through this documentary. And I don't mean the religious context of righteous, I mean Patrice O'Neill's version of righteous, which is uh, the one I use myself. But anyway, moving on. Now, the documentary will recount the life story of O'Neill. He passed in 2011 at the age of 41. It will explore the hilarious and controversial material he left behind by utilising an archive of never-before-seen personal materials and feature O'Neill's family and friends who were influenced and affected by O'Neill. Now, this is the bit I'm looking forward to a lot. Now, 
going through hilarious and controversial material that will go back to the Black Phillips show, no doubt. His appearances on Opie and Anthony show, which are very controversial in itself, especially since the trail that Anthony Cumia has gone down. With luck, we'll get the I'm Better Than You videos that were released on YouTube but were recently taken off by Comedy Central. And the reason I want this one so badly is because Jim Norton, another one of Patricia Neal's comedy friends, was interviewed about Patricia Neal and his life, and they even brought him to tears. And that one was really heart-wrenching. It really, really hit home. But on top of that, think of all the other stories that will be brought out into light. Think of actually having an interview with his mother. All that insight to come. Uh, moving on. Skipping this paragraph. I'm very excited and proud to have gotten this project into the hands of Comedy Central. And now with Bill Burr and all things comedy aboard, as well as our director, Michael, oh, not that name. This makes for an absolute dream team to help his mother and I bring Patrice's story to the masses and solidify his legacy for generations to come. Okay, Von. I love what you said. I love what you said, Von, but you probably should have done that in the first place instead of having all these people raise all this money only to have it raised. Are you going to reimburse all these people? Refund them for their spending? All the money you've wasted? Uh, probably not, but... Uh. Now, the rest of this is basically talking about stuff that, well, you're probably going to find out about in the documentary, so I'm not going to really go into that. But there are a few things that concern me. What about Dante Nero? Why wasn't his name mentioned? Is he not going to be involved? I mean, Dante Nero was Patrice O'Neill's best friend. I mean, I, would, I at least hope that he gets interviewed in this. I mean, that's where Bill Burr kind of comes in. I mean, I hope Bill Burr knows all this stuff about him. Will we get interviews from Patrice O'Neill's good friend, Kevin Hart? I mean, I know he's a bit Hollywood right now, but they were still good friends. They were on the scene together as well. Chris Rock, Rich Voss, as I said before, Jimmy Norton, Dave Chappelle. I mean, Dave Chappelle was mentioned, so there's a hint that he might be in there. What about all the other people that Patrice O'Neill knew? What about British Gavin, Bobby Kelly, Lucy C.K., all of them? Will these people get their chance to tell their stories of Patrice? Like, these are the questions people should be asking. These are the questions that these articles should be attempting to answer, but... Like, let's go back to Dante Nero for a second. Von De Carlo doesn't like him. Dante Nero has already said this in an interview before. Because Von De Carlo is so involved, it could mean that certain people that Von doesn't like won't be involved. Would that not ruin the integrity of the entire product? All because of Von and her ego, you know? Fingers crossed that information gets revealed soon. I mean, they are going to start filming in the fall or autumn if you're British like me. Uh, we've already had too much Hollywood travesties. I don't want another one of my babies, in this case, one of the most influential people in my life, being tarnished as well. We had to wait and see. But all I have to say is, look at what happened with the Dave Chappelle special. You had the audience reception be 99%, something I've never seen, that's for sure. But the media, the top critics, voting, what, what, what was it, less than 30% positive? Will the mainstream media show their true colours again? Because Patrice O'Neill was a lot more controversial than Dave Chappelle, I'll tell you that much. He did not hold back at all. So, I mean, this is a guy who went into Fox News and described the donkey punch. <laughs> like, <laughs> you can't beat that. Will the reception to this be good? Will they show uncut, true, honest, and righteous Patrice O'Neill and show his life story? Will they try to censor anything, which is probably what they will try and do? Will they be honest about things like his false rape beef, correctly labelled the best story ever told on radio? Or will they try to romanticise like Von was trying to do when he hired that football player? Or was it a basketball player? I can't remember. Probably an American football player. To act as him and some other dumb shit. <laughs> but 
there's all these questions, all these unanswered questions. Like, will they fuck it up? That's what I'm worried about. And if not, will the media tear it to shreds for not being PC enough? But think of it this way. If it ends up being a masterpiece and a perfect legacy for this comedy legend, this morality legend, this philosophical legend, this will indeed piss off the PC comps. And they will run amok. But guess what? The rational individuals out there will be there to call them out in the bullshit yet again. And I think that if that's the case, Patrice O'Neill's legacy will be that it shook the world up. Because the thing about this way, if Patrice O'Neill hadn't have passed away, tragically, what do you think he'd be doing? He'd be calling this shout left, right, and center. He was calling out before it even got popular to be PC. So... Uh, to wait and see. I hope it does well. I really do. I really do. But you know, fingers crossed. Have an opinion. Don't let your opinion have you. Hmm. The power in that statement. Mm. Ah, Patrice. Patriki. I'll see you guys in the next one. Lads and the dance. Cheers. Bitch better have my money.